Hi, and welcome to my channel, Which Way 101. My name is Jessie, and uh, I gotta actually say thank you to all of my subscribers and supporters. I really could not have made it this far without you guys. Um, first of all, I, you know, I can't thank you guys enough. If you guys didn't actually share my videos, if you guys didn't actually like them, I could not get here right now. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, second of all, I don't have the rights to the music in the background. It just happens to be a song that I really, really like. Um, I adore the beat. Can't really help myself on that one. Um, so the other thing is, is that I'm also, I'm sorry about the lighting. I'm, I'm actually house sitting for a friend. And so, um, I figured I would try to do this video back here to get away from all of the animals. Um, I'm not trying to have all the animals trying to jump all over me and um, we might actually hear some barking in the background. So, um, anyways, my name is Jessie and my channel is Which Way 101 and, uh, I know that I'm kind of jumping a little bit ahead by going to divination, but I feel that this is such a good part in astrology or uh, in witchcraft that so many people overlook or it becomes a really big part of what they practice. Um, sometimes there's actually a really happy medium to it too. So today I'm just going to go over a few basics about some of the most common types of practices of divination. And there's a lot more, okay? There's a lot more. These are just some of the ones that I know for a fact, pretty much, well, maybe not a fact, but pretty much everybody on the planet has heard them. And if you haven't, maybe it's time to do some research, or uh, it's awesome that I'm actually introducing you to something new. You know, you learn something new every day, and that's, that's the point of these videos is for you guys to learn something. So the first thing that I'm going to go over as far as divination is concerned is divination is a um, form of seeing into the future and glancing, glancing and glimmering into the future. Now, some people say that different forms are more accurate. Some people say that other forms are inaccurate. Um, I won't really get into my own personal thing until the very end. So... Um, Oh, and please don't forget to check out the links that are in the description below. One of them will be my Patreon. There will be other social medias on there. Hopefully you guys check them out. Anyways, so the first one that I'm going to go over is astrology. And astrology is something almost everybody knows about. Everybody, everybody knows about astrology pretty much. I mean, even if it's your own horoscope sign and you're reading your horoscopes in the morning. Um... Astrology can be as simple as that, or it can also get more complex. It can get as complex as doing a birth chart and finding out why you have a finger in every single pie when for some reason your sun sign is a Libra. I don't know. Personally, I'm a Scorpio, so I don't know. It just came off the top of my head. Um, but it's, it's a very beautiful thing when you actually get into it and it's very enlightening. Um, I personally study astrology and I find that a lot of the information that I get out of astrology is a lot more accurate and descriptive than what I could potentially even assume, to be honest. Um, and so it's definitely something that I enjoy. Um, it's, it's something that I think that everybody should at least look into to see if it's something that they like or, you know, take a peek. Um, the next thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was tea leaf reading. Now, I know that this is not a common practice nowadays. I actually know how to read tea leaves. Um, it's something that I don't really do anymore. It's something that I'm never really asked about. Um, tea leaf reading is usually you will have a teacup and what there's two different ways you're either drinking the tea or you've literally ground up tea and you're literally swirling it around and dumping it out of the cup and um the dregs that stay there all form different shapes and patterns the other way is to drink the tea with the dregs in them and to let the dregs fall where they do trying not to drink it in um either way works uh, i've had both accurate 
readings on both. But it's, it's something fun. It's something that um, a lot of people used to be into, and it's something that you used to see with a lot of traveling folk and Romani and Gypsy. Um, same with our next subject, which is palmistry. So palmistry is the art of reading your hand and telling about your life or your future. Um, it can be your past, it can be your present, and it can be your future. Um, it can be as simple as you had somebody close to you die when you were two years old. Nine times out of ten, it turns out to be a parent that is the dead one if it's that young. But um, in general, you can go ahead and see things that you normally don't see on an everyday basis. And I've found that it's pretty accurate as well. Um, but the major thing about the palm that a lot of people want to remember and understand is because we don't look at our palm hands all the time, the lines on there tend to change a little bit. And I'm not saying that they're going to change dramatically or anything like that, but the lines do tend to change. Some of them tend to get darker. Sometimes you tend to get other lines that go right through them. Sometimes you have an X where you never had an X. Sometimes you have a triangle where you never had a triangle. So it's definitely something to pay attention to if you decide to get into palmistry. Okay. Now the next one I'm going to get into is numerology. Numerology is the art of basically everything ends and, and equates to a number. Um, so everything has a number that equals up from one to nine. So this year, for example, if we were doing numerology, it's 2019. Okay. So for this year, you would take two plus one plus nine and you would add those together. And then after that, you would go ahead and you would add the two plus the one plus nine. So you would take the 12 because you can't have a two digit number. So you take the one and the two and you would add those together. So it's a three. And so this year is a year for number three. So you would look up the associations with the number three and whatnot and what that could mean for you, for your career, for your family and whatnot. I don't personally study too much numerology. I've known a lot of people who do and they claim it to be very, very accurate. I personally, like I said, don't study it, but I have had other people bring up different numerology aspects to me that do make sense and that does actually fit with the description that they're giving. Uh, for example, when it was, um, I can't remember the year, but it, it was a couple years ago. Anyways, the, the entire year equaled out to a nine. And um, my friend, she was like, you know, this year is the time for new things. It's the time for new beginnings. You're getting rid of the old and you're getting, you're putting the new on and um, all this other stuff. And it was actually really true. I was getting out of a really bad relationship and I was moving states and I was starting a new job. And so there's a lot going on that year. I was moving on from the old and getting on to the new. So like I said, numerology can have a lot of effects and it can impact people in different ways. Um, and I'm, I'm, you know, it's, it's definitely something to look into. And I mean, everybody has their own preferences as far as divination is concerned. Okay. So what works for one person might not necessarily work for another. Um, and the last form of divination, which I'm pretty darn sure everybody has heard about tarot cards. We hear about them on the radio and on the commercials all the time. Come and get your tarot readings for two ninety nine a minute. And da -da 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 -da. That's cute. But if I do a tarot reading, I want it to be with somebody who I either personally know or who's right there reading the cards with me. Um, I myself read tarot cards as well. Um, tarot cards are a way to go ahead and get an outlook on the future. If things continue going the way that they are, it's not a for sure definition on things are going to go this way. Um, there are a lot of pluses and minuses to tarot cards. And a lot of people say that they're just games and that they're fantasies, but I don't think so. I've had a lot of people give me tarot readings that are just spot on. And I've given tarot readings that are just spot on, like to the point where it scares people. And, um, so, I mean, it really depends on what person is giving you the reading. I personally would never go ahead and pay somebody who I don't know or who I'm not affiliated with in some way for a tarot reading just to see what kind of accuracy they have and whatnot. Um, that's not to say that I would go through multiple readers or even do another reading myself just to see how accurate they are. 
But what I would do is I would probably go ahead and live out what's going on in my life and see if anything matched up to what they said, you know, making notes. Um, so that's, that's it as far as like basic divination stuff. There's a lot more to divination than just these five things. And these are just the basics. I didn't get into everything that I could have because I just wanted to really skim over them so that, um, people who are interested in divination or this kind of magic or paganistic or Wiccan, um, thing can go ahead and get a sense of what kind of forms of divination there really are. And I'll go over different kinds more. Um, if there's any kind that you would like me to particularly go over, please let me know down in the comments below. Um, and I'm going to call it good at that. Uh, so look at my links down below. I will have my Patreon and my Twitter and my Tumblr and all of that fun stuff set up. So, um, past that, I also wanted to go ahead and ask everybody how their in bulk went. I personally wasn't able to celebrate today. It's the second. I'm going to try to get this video out today. Um, uh, but I wasn't able to celebrate yesterday the way that I would have liked to. So I'm going to try to do that tonight. Um, I think that it's very important. Um, so anyways, but yeah, I actually, um, posted a picture on my Patreon if you guys want to take a peek. Um, so yeah, you know, let me know what you guys are doing. I would love to know. Let me know down in the comments. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope that everything runs smoothly. I hope that you guys are having an amazing time. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Blessed be. Bye for now.